Karen. Ooh. Whoop de doop. I've never trusted a man named Kevin with my snacks before. Never. Sounds like they'd do anything for snacks. The female version would be Stephanie. Hi. I am not excited about this. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dun, dun. Dun, mukbang. Woo. Woo. So today I am going to be attempting the ghost pepper chip challenge. We've done the ghost pepper noodles. We've done... We've done the one chip. Yeah, we've done the one chip challenge, but have we ever done the ghost pepper chip challenge? No. The one chip challenge, I will say, though, is probably the most similar to this one, and I had diarrhea for about three days straight, mm -hmm. so I am not excited about this video but it has been highly requested so we've also got some shake shack we've got the new hot chicken burgers we've got the hot chicken nuggets we've got the hot cheesy fries and i'm gonna show you something real quick i'm gonna leave my fiance just so i can show you this now that we got rid of my fiance i just want to show you something that comes in real handy did you guys get that <laughs> I just want to say 2020 sucks and the last thing I want are some wet socks to go along with it So I'm gonna show you guys the shoes that I wear every single day no matter what I'm doing Like if I'm hula hooping or walking on the treadmill or running or playing badminton in our front yard or walking the dogs I am almost you can catch me in my bestie shoes. I practically live in these They're so freaking comfortable and let me explain I've had so many bad experiences with shoes before I've had shoes fall apart on me on vacation I've had shoes where I forgot that I was gonna rain that day and they were just filled with a sludge and then my socks were all wet and then I had to walk around in those socks the rest of the day. Wet socks suck. And I've been wearing Vessi shoes for I want to say like almost a year now. They're so stylish. This is the same pair that I'm wearing but I bought a gray one as well. 100% waterproof, a sand proof and it's sludge proof so maybe it's snowing. You can walk through those in your Vessis and your socks will stay completely fine. And I know what you're thinking okay and I think this too. Every time I hear waterproof I'm like that's a lie. I don't believe you because I've had so many things that were allegedly waterproof sometimes that leak and then you get wet socks anyway. Okay so let me show you how waterproof it is. So this is what a napkin looks like when it gets wet. It gets wet instantly, then it turns into a different color. So I've got a completely new napkin, and I'm gonna stick it into the toe of this Vessi shoe, and I swear. So imagine that's like your sock. And then we're just going to just dunk it in there. Just really marinate the shoe in the water. Just let it swim, take a dip, a luxurious bath, you could say. You get the point, okay? Then you take it out, right? Wet on the outside, but completely dry on the inside. Like I'm serious. Thank you, Messi, for partnering with me on this video. And also, I'm gonna leave all of their links below. If you guys have any information or like any questions you wanna know about Vessi, all gonna be linked below. And if you guys use the code BISS, which is vessifootwear.com slash BISS, B-I-S-S, you guys can actually get $25 off your pair of Vessis, and we can match. Hello? Vessifootwear.com slash BISS? Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm so lame, I gotta go. So now that we're back, um, let's get started. I'm gonna get started with this, just so I have something in my stomach to kind of cushion the death, you know? Okay, I just wanna, like, why are they so broken? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a tiny bite first. I don't know about you, but this is good. Wow. Mm. Okay, he's dying. What's wrong? I'm not dying. It's okay. spicy, but it's nothing like the one chip challenge. Really? Nothing like the one chip. One chip, even a, a, a corner. Honey, take a bite. What is it? Chicken nugget? Mm, no, but this hot chicken burger might mm. be my new favorite chicken burger. I love Shake Shack's regular mm. chicken burger, but this is so much better. We've got the fries. Mmm. <gasps> Delicious. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Everything's so spicy. I'm already, my lips are already burning from the fries. <laughs> so, are we doing like loser? Okay, so we decide like if the story is not bad, good, you take a bite or eat a chip. Uh huh. Oh wow, that's spicy, bro. What do you mean it's not spicy? What do you mean? No, it's spicy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. It's okay. Should we 
we each eat one first? No. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite. Okay. Oh my god. It's really spicy. Mm -hmm. My tongue is burning. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. One more. I feel like I was wimping out on you guys. I'm sorry. It's really bad. Okay, you go fresh. I got, I got my, uh, what do you call it? If I ever eat something too spicy, my, um, I feel like I'm on a plane. Like the pressure in my ear is mm. really high. Sure. I'm gonna pop it. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. So. My first story, okay? Okay. I'm gonna start off um, light. So you know growing up, you know, your parents always tell you like, <sighs> if somebody knock on the door, don't open the door, mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Your mom tell you that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a conversation between a mom and a little daughter, very young daughter, maybe five years old. Oh, wow. So the mom's asking your daughter, I'm gonna leave now. If somebody knock on the door, what do you do? The little daughter say, doesn't matter who it is, I'm not gonna open the door. <gasps> I think I know what's gonna happen. Continue. What's gonna happen? No, I can't tell you. You Continue. know what's gonna happen? No, keep going. Okay. And then mom asks, what if it's the um, delivery man? And she say, I'll tell him just leave the package at the door. And she said, what about the policeman? And then the daughter said, I'll have the policeman call mommy. My mommy's number is blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And the mom said, good girl. That's my daughter. So smart. Remember that, okay? So the mommy leaves and went to work. Okay, I thought the story was gonna be that you gave my number and I'd be like, I have a kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the scariest part of it all. <laughs> my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sorry, continue. A couple hours later, she got a phone call. Mommy? Um, okay, why is she <laughs> British? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> okay. If somebody's climbing in from the window, what do I say? What did the mom say? That's it. That's the end of the story. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna be that she tells her mom, like the mom tells the kid, don't open the door for anyone. Mm -hmm. And then later, the mom is getting chased by a killer and she starts mm. knocking on the door and it's like, honey, open the door, it's your mom. And she refuses to, so then her mom gets murdered right outside the door. Mm. See, that's a little, you know, not realistic. Okay, but someone climbing up uh, through the, yeah. That's so <laughs> realistic. What the heck? It's like the most realistic shit ever. Okay, fine. <laughs> Seems like you weren't impressed. I'll eat a chip. Mm hmm. Your turn. Okay. Honestly, that was my best one, but that's fine. That was your best one? <laughs> that's fine. Hold on, I need to take a bite. I'm gonna make a comeback though. <laughs> I'm gonna some good ones. This chip's actually pretty good. It's not like one chip. One chip is nasty. The one chip, it burns. This one's more of like a traditional spicy. Mm -hmm. Like so spicy, but it's not like you're um, inhaling like a ball of fire, right? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Can you open up a straw? Mm, I don't know, your chips. No, your hands are not trustable. A strawberry milk. If I get I'm snotty. <laughs> I'm like, it's not like the burning spice. This one's good, I like it. Meanwhile, snot everywhere. I'm just a weak little hoe. I don't know what's wrong with me. So my story is about a man who is not wealthy, but he owns a lot of land. So let's say he owns massive far land, farmland and he's got mm -hmm. three sons and on his deathbed, he realizes he doesn't know which son deserves the land. He felt as if it shouldn't be split and it just should go to one of the sons. But which one? What a troubling question, right? So he decides to bring his sons into the room while he's lying there and he says, here, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you each $100 and you guys are gonna go out and buy something and it's got to be the same thing so if you okay. buy one cow you gotta buy 10 cows right around how much however many cows a hundred dollars can buy and I'm gonna leave this room empty and as much that you can fill up this room whoever can fill it up to the most 
mm-hmm. is going to get all the land. But here's the catch. You only have $100, and the person who can fill it up the most but still have the most left over is the one that gets it. So it's a little bit complex. You have to spend the least to get one product or multiples of a product. So anything. Yeah, you could bring in a million grapes if you spent less than $100, right? Mm. And whoever has the last money or most money left over is the winner of the land. Mm. <laughs> I can't hear anything through my ears. Am I screaming? <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary story of me. It's um, when something's too spicy, my ears pop. <clears throat> so they said, okay, sounds good. So the first son comes back, and he's really proud of himself. He's like, guess what, Dad? I got hella corn. I got just ears and ears and ears of corn, right? Mm. So he starts pulling out the corn. They were affordable. He's got money left over, and the corn are big. They take up space, right? And then you've got the second son who comes in. How and much like, did he fill up? He filled up the whole, like... It's like this big mount, mm. right? But I mean, there was still the rest of the room left. I mean, how much can really $100 of corn get you? Or like 50 bucks, right? Mm-hmm. So then the next b- brother, he comes in and he says, Dad, you won't be so proud of me, okay? I brought in some rice. You know how you like rice? Well, I got some rice. I spent $80 on rice. And he starts pouring out all the little granules of rice. Mm-hmm. And it fills up practically all of the floor of the room. I mean, it's not yeah. up to the walls, but the floor of the room is covered in rice. Mm. So they're all sitting there and they're like, that's pretty impressive. And he's like, I still got 20 bucks left, right? Mm -hmm. And then the third brother comes in. And the brothers are like, you didn't bring anything? Like, really? Loser? We always knew you were the weak one, you little pussy ass bitch, right? You're the dumb one. You're the stupid one. And he goes, sorry, it just like was outside and it's so freaking hot. And I just couldn't walk around. I bought these waters. Here, take a water, right? So they're like, okay, so show us what you got. And they're opening their little waters and they're drinking it. And then, one by one, each brother and the dad... They plopped it. Mm, that's smart. So he killed them. To get the land? No. To get the land. He wanted to follow the rules. Remember yeah. how I said it was so hot? Yeah. So he left them in the room for a couple days in the heat. Mm-hmm. So much so that the entire room filled with flies and worms and maggots. Ah! And he still had most of the money left over. So he won fair and square. Oh my god, that is just disgusting. <laughs> I have goosebumps all over me. <laughs> okay, your turn. You won the nasty award. Ah. Your turn, your turn. Alright. Okay, I think I think you won this round, huh? Stop eating the chip like it's Cheetos. Oh, You're gonna sorry, have sorry. stomach problems sorry. tomorrow. So the parents has um, they have two kids, right? A little five-year-old boy and a little two-year-old daughter. And today is the little daughter's birthday. For her birthday, the parents decided to go buy her a dog, a puppy, as her birthday present. The little girl was so excited, and right before they were about to leave the door, the little son asking dad, "Daddy, I want a dog too." Can I get a doggo too? Daddy said, Okay, if you can make sure that your sister doesn't cry and make a mess when we leave, when we come back, we'll get you a little puppy as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, he go get a dog. <laughs> and a life sentence in prison. So the parents make sure the doors, the windows, everything's locked. And they left. An hour later, the parents back with a doggo. As soon as they walk in the house, the little boy ran to the parents like, Daddy, mommy, come, come, come. He pulled them straight to the bathroom and he said, When is my birthday again? And he opened the door. Inside the bathroom, the bathroom, the tub was filled with water. The daughter was facing down, floating on the water. But this one, you guessed it though. You saw it coming 10 miles away. Why did you think it is? Why, why, did you, why did you expect that's what happened? Because babies, they cry. How do you get a baby to not cry? Mm. Either it becomes an adult or it dead. You know what I mean? So you're just like, yeah, he's for sure going to kill this. Oh, yeah. Sister. Come on. Mm. Read too much true crime. He's mm. a murder and asshole. That's what he is. <laughs> not funny. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you a story. Now, this one's interesting because it's real, but it's still very, very spooky. This one has been highly requested. It's the story of Roro Chan underscore 1999. 
Now, there was, she's a Japanese streamer. She was 14 years old. That's their username? Yeah, her username. And she was mainly streaming on a place called like Nico Nico or Nico Nico, N I C O N I C O. It's like a streaming mm-hmm. website in Japan. It's like Twitch. She was streaming all sorts of things. She was just a regular streamer. She would stream her playing on the piano. She would stream herself, you know, just talking to her audience, things like that. And what they noticed is, I mean, she'd been streaming for two years or so. What they noticed is she just had this really strong want to become an internet legend she just that's what she wanted she wanted to be known on the internet she wanted people to never forget her name this now, is a true story yeah mm-hmm. and that's what she talked to her audience about just one day she was going to become a legend and so in order to fulfill that dream that she had she started doing really risky things so it went from playing the piano to she would sprint into oncoming traffic like she would just while she's live streaming on her phone, run through busy streets where there'd be cars coming at very fast speeds. She mm-hmm. would be walking on the edge of very, very tall buildings. And she said, am I a legend yet? Am I a legend yet? Like she wanted to become an internet legend. No. Her final stream, she was living on the 13th floor of her apartment building. Mm -hmm. when she approached the edge and she would constantly walk around the edge while she was live streaming and everyone started commenting you're never gonna do it you're never gonna do it when was this this was a couple years ago and they kept saying you're never gonna do it if you don't do it you're not gonna become a legend you're not gonna become a legend unless you jump and so finally apparently there is still footage out there that they're trying to find it's been archived but of her saying yes i am and jumping off the 13th floor to her death it was live stream like straight up suicide yeah and the crazy thing is lots of people who remember being on that stream they said the comments are so scary because you see some people saying don't do it it's not worth it right but you see a lot of comments saying this will make you a legend i promise do it like people were encouraging her that's fucking crazy is this sounds like scary? the movies. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's so scary. It's a real story, but it's truly terrifying. Yeah, some streams are scary. And here's Remember the... Scary, the okay, go ahead. Go ahead. She didn't become a legend up until a couple years ago when a Japanese rock band made a music video dedicated to her or about the situation. But afterwards, only the local news talked about it. Nobody talked about it. But it was verified. Mm, the, the footage is unverifiable. Mm. Mm -hmm. They haven't been able to find the old footage because when someone does that online live streaming, I know right now there's a clip circulating, not of her, of someone else, Mm -hmm. that recently um, took their life via Mm -hmm. Facebook live stream. Mm -hmm. And apparently, like, TikTok's trying to ban it. Like, people are trying to sneak it into videos everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, They try to take it all down because, first of all, you don't want to be traumatized by that. But second of all, if it goes viral, it actually encourages lots of people to do the same thing. Sorry, I made it dark. Yeah. But is that not scary? That's fucking scary. That pe- I think the scarier part is that people were egging her on. Yeah. Uh, what like, movie? Yeah. No, what, 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 what this reminds me of was what I was telling you about last year. The rapper was um, live streaming. Is that, there was a Chinese rapper. Mm, tell them what happened. Yeah, so there was a Chinese rapper and he was live streaming... And then he, he got into an argument with a, I don't know if it was a fan or there was some, a group of people, like, qu- just questioning him, like, like, I don't know, what, I don't know exactly, what, okay, I just saw this, like, on the news a little bit, so I followed it up. He was so upset that he was saying that, you got, why don't you guys believe me? Like, to prove that I am honest, I'm gonna prove that I'm not lying, I'm gonna chop off one of my finger. And, like, like while live streaming, he picked up a knife and start just... Ah! Ah. And what's crazy ah. is it didn't show the finger in frame, mm-hmm. but you can hear the knife hitting yeah. it, and then he did it again immediately because it didn't, I guess. Ah. Yeah. And then the craziest part is after he did it, you, it didn't even seem like it hurt on his face. I guess he was angry. Allegedly, people were saying he's on drugs. Allegedly, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. He and then he brought his hand up, and you see one of the, yeah, finger was missing. That was a lot. That was scary. Oh my god. Okay, you tell your story now. I'll eat a chip to that. that this is cute. dark. This is real life stuff. Is dark. I know. Okay, hit me with a fake <clears> one. <throat> Wait, I need to eat it with like a, a fucking French fry. Um. So. Susie, 
Does Susie sound like a young name? No. Susie was a she's a teacher at a kindergarten.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so he teaches all the kids are four or five years old. And they're really cute. You know, they're so happy all the time, and she loves her job. You know, and she takes care of this whole class of、um, kids. And one of her favorite is Johnny. Johnny is just so ha- so bright, so lively. You know, everybody loves Johnny. Johnny is the most favorite child in class. One day, it's、uh, everybody's taking a break on the playground. Everybody's writing the, you know, they're doing all sorts of act- activities, and kids are so excited to use the slide. Johnny was the first one. Oh, Johnny! <laughs> Freaking Johnny! Did he rip one while he was on the way down? He got up there, slid down, and immediately started screaming and crying. Oh no! She ran up to the Johnny and saw that his. Leg was bleeding. And he looked at. She looked at、um, the slide, saw that there's a big ass nail just poking out. I know what's popping on the slide. I know Susie, little dirty hoe. Anyway, continue. Because、mm-hmm. everyone loved Johnny,、mm-hmm. she needed to make Johnny unlovable. So Susie put the nail there, and now because he has a bleeding leg. Well, Susie is the teacher, honey. Oh. Susie is a teacher. teacher. Oh, I thought Susie, Susie was loved. another. No, no, no. Susie、student. is a teacher.、That's, oh, Susie is a student. And Johnny is. No, Johnny is Susie's favorite favorite student. Ah. Okay.、Yeah. Never mind. Come on now. Come on now. So Susie was、okay. so scared. She's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is there a nail on here?" While she was calling ambulance, getting him to the hospital, and she's scared, nervous about what to say to the parent. She felt a little tug on her sleeve.、Mm-hmm. She looked down. It's Kevin. And Kevin says, "Um, Mrs. Mrs. Susie, now that Johnny is sick, does that mean he won't be a part of the competition to win the snacks?" <gasps> Fucking Kevin! <laughs> Fucking Kevin! Okay, Kevin, Kevin! I've never trusted a man named Kevin with my snacks before. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Never.、Hmm. Uh huh. What has Kevin done to you? I don't know. It just sounds like a snack eater. <laughs> sounds like they do anything for snacks. The female version would be Stephanie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking does anything for some snacks. I don't like these kitty ones. They're scary. My ears are still ringing. These pickles are so good. Get a little bit of chicken. Get some pickles. Do you want、pickle. the last burger? No. You sure? Uh huh. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I love pickles. <laughs> There was a girl by the name of Ashley. No, Ashley. One day, when she was walking home from school, she suddenly disappeared. This was really hard on the parents. Ashley's parents had no idea where she went. There was no clues. The police said we don't know anything. Like there was no witnesses that saw anything. This is a fake story, by the way. No witnesses who saw anything. Nobody knows anything about where Ashley could have gone. And so months passed. I mean, they put up missing posters. They put up. They did everything. The police followed any any possible lead that they could, and nobody knew where Ashley was. It just seemed like she vanished out of thin air.、Mm-hmm. So the parents obviously start getting really desperate. So they decide a couple months later, after she had been missing. To go to almost like a clairvoyant. Now this person was very fascinating because she said, "Listen, I have an ability to transfer my spirit into the per- missing person, and I can literally see their physical location. So、mm-hmm. I can't tell you what happened. I can't tell you who took them, but、mm-hmm. I can look around and tell you what I see. Like maybe it's City Hall, maybe it's the Staples Center. I can tell you these、mm-hmm. things. So maybe this will help you trace down where Ashley is.、Mm-hmm. So the parents are like, 'We will give you any amount of money to do this.'" So they push their money towards her, and she says, "Okay, let's get started." So she closes her eyes, she does her shit, and she opens them, and she says, "Ashley is in someone's house. I I saw it, and it's it's a very big mansion, almost. I mean, 
Do you know anyone who lives in a mansion? Like there were big, big tall ceilings, big Florida glass, you know, glass windows. It was、mm-hmm. a really nice house. No, we don't know anyone that lives in a house like that. Are you sure that's where our little Ashley is?、Mm-hmm. Well, hey, let me let me just make sure. Goes back to sleep, and she wakes up, and she says, "No, no, no! I was wrong. I was wrong. She's actually at a train station. I don't know really much about it. I saw train tracks. I saw a sign. Maybe it said South something. Do you know a train station like that? Do you guys take the train often? Does Ashley know how to take the train by herself?、Mm-hmm. And they go trains. We've never really been on a train. Like, are you sure that's where our little Ashley is? And she says, "Well, I mean, sometimes I could be wrong. Okay,、um, I guess let me try one more time and just make sure." So she goes back into her thing, and she wakes up and she says, "No, no, no! I, I was wrong. I don't know what's happening right now, but I was wrong. She's not at the train station. She's like in some warehouse right now. Do you guys know any? Do you have family members who work at a warehouse? She's、maybe? scamming them." <laughs> like, Every time she's like five hundred dollars more, put it on the table, bitch. She's like, "Do you guys know anyone who works at a warehouse?" No. Why would Ashley be at a warehouse? Are you sure? Like, are you positive it's a warehouse? Are you sure it's not something else?、Uh, I can try one last time. So she does it again, and she says, "I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I was wrong.、Oh、she's in someone's basement, but it's it's not the mansion that I mentioned. It's." It's like this really nasty basement. There's just clutter everywhere. Very smelly and stinky and dim and just gross. And there's so many walls. I think she's in someone's basement. And so they say what? And then they get a call from the police. And they said that Ashley has been murdered, and dismembered, and parts of her body have been shipped all across the country. Oh shit. He said, <laughs> "Oh shit!、Yeah, she got FedEx or whatever." So she's everywhere. Mhm. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> okay. All right. Also, I think a chip touched my. Outside lip, it's burning. <clears throat> so, um, give me a name. What's her name? Karen. Oop. Oop de doop. Okay. <laughs> okay. What kind of story this gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> What is that reaction? <laughs>、um, Karen was、uh, riding a bus, right?、Mm-hmm. She got onto a bus and she sat next to a le- woman. The woman was、uh, holding a little baby. She covered it up with the, you know, the or whatever you use to cover babies, right?、Mm-hmm. She's holding a baby, sitting next to her. And、uh, Karen likes to chat with people, so she's like, "Oh, your 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 baby's sleeping." And the lady turn around. And she smiles. She says, "No, actually, this is not a baby. It's a it's a handbag. Look." She opened up her little wrap, but it looks like a baby in there. She's like, "No, it's not a baby. Look." She flip up the baby's shirt. It looks like a zipper. Here's the zipper. She zips the zipper down and opens it. It is a purse. Karen goes, "Wow, that's a very well made purse. It looks just like a baby, like a person. Wow, where did you buy it?" The lady <laughs> grabbed the kit, grabbed the purse. I'm sorry, stood up and said, "Oh, it's my stop now. I'm, I'm, I actually didn't buy this.、Uh, I'm just really good at recycling." And walk off. I thought she was gonna say, "I didn't buy it. I made it." <laughs>、uh, yeah. yeah. I don't like these.、Mm-hmm. You've been doing a lot of kid stories. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's a solid lie. <laughs>、mm-hmm. You know when you're sleeping at night, honey, I'll kill you. No,、oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm saying when you're sleeping.、Mm-hmm. You know if you are sleeping next to a wall, the wall is always cool, right? It's kind of cold and chilly. Did you know that? That's why sometimes I like to stick my leg on the wall because it cools me down. We have a wall next to our bed. I know, but I'm saying when、okay. I did. The reason for that is because spirits. They like to walk against the wall. I will kill you. 
I will kill you right now. You be, you gonna become a spirit. Mm hmm. Yep. That's right. <sighs> all right. All right. I need to drink my water and calm down. I'm already kind of feeling the sharks. Not gonna <laughs> lie. Um, this ghost pepper chip really just. You know, and it's gonna, I feel like it's just ready to um, exit the facility. It's ready to exit the building. It's not trying to pay rent. It's not trying to stay a long time. It feels, it feels as if it's trying to make a grand exit sometime soon. That's scary. I know. <laughs> you and I should both be scared. Yeah. That is the scariest story of today's scary showdown. It's gonna be what's gonna be happening after this video in our restroom. So make sure to taste this. Stay tuned. I was gonna say stay tuned for that, but like don't. Maybe I'll talk about it in a vlog. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's scary showdown. Get ready because this is a warm up. Because do you guys know what month it is? Next September. month. <laughs> Next month. October. It's gonna be scary showdown October. I mean, obviously it's still gonna be a lot of crime, but we are gonna try to do a lot more scary showdowns for the month of October so that we can really get into the Halloween spirit. Lots of Halloween scary stories. I mean, just really just dig deep, just put your hand into it and just trick or treat bits. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure to check out Vessi, link in the description. If you guys use vessifootwear.com slash bis or code bis, B-I-S-S, -S, you guys get $25 off and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.